Uh, I did knock on a bathroom door on the first night. Not a bathroom door, five bathroom doors and two bedrooms. Uh, is Johnny that not right? is not an accurate historian of what happened during Ms. Heard, that uh, Ms. period Heard, of time. I'll guarantee Ms. Heard, that. that's not my question. Five bathroom doors, two bedrooms. That's what you knocked on. I that's what there. actually happened in Australia, isn't it, Ms. Heard? I was there. So that's I no? remember it. I knocked on one bathroom door. I came on the first night after he decided to take the, the bag of MDMA. Ms. Heard, to check Ms. Heard, on and I'm going to move to strike everything after I knocked on one bathroom door. Yeah, she can't door. do that. She's answering the question. Uh, not quite, so I will sustain the objection. Just answer the question, okay, ma'am? The recording we just listened to, that's exactly what happened in Australia. Mr. Depp lost the tip of his finger after you threw a bottle at him. Isn't that right? That is incorrect. You're the one who assaulted someone with a bottle in Australia. Isn't that right, Ms. Heard? I didn't assault Johnny in Australia. I didn't assault Johnny ever. I couldn't. And then after he was injured, he had to hide from you, right? That is incorrect. Five bathrooms, two bedrooms. That is incorrect. And you would pursue him. That is incorrect. Because he was avoiding talking to you, right? He did that first night when he was I avoiding, tried to talk to him about the drugs. And he was avoiding working it out. No, he was uh, avoiding agreeing to not fight about the drugs. You weren't scared of him at all, were you? I have a, uh, a mixed relationship with Johnny, and one in which I'm scared, one in which I love him very much. I'm not talking about your mixed relationship. That night in Australia, after you cut off his finger with a bottle, you weren't scared of him at all, were you? This is a man who tried to kill me. Of course it's scary. He's also my husband. You testified yesterday that you sought a temporary restraining order on May 27th, 2016 because you wanted to change your locks. Do you remember that testimony? Yes, I do. Those locks were to the penthouses at the Eastern Columbia building, isn't that correct? That's correct. But you changed the locks to the penthouses on May 22nd, 2016. I attempted to. That's why you felt comfortable having James Franco over the evening of May 22nd, 2016, Ms. Heard? I do not know when, I do not know when James came over. Okay, let's remind you. Can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 304, which is already in evidence, and play from 254 through 439? That's you and Mr. Franco on May 22nd, 2016, right, Ms. Heard? That's correct. And you're taking him up to the penthouses, aren't you? That's where I lived, yes. And it's past 11 p.m. at night, isn't that right? I'm not quite sure of the time it looked, it looked like that. Why don't we pull that video back up 